I love being solo in lawn care. I love it. It's amazing. My schedule is free. I can basically do whatever I want as long as I get the work done. Guys, my name's Aaron, and I spent years of my life wasting away in the retail and the healthcare industries, and I just got so sick and tired of working nights and weekends. So I quit my healthcare job. I started this lawn care company as a solo guy, and that's what this channel is all about helping you guys as solo lawn care business owners become more efficient so that you have more time for family, free time, and fun. Sometimes being solo sucks. Right now, today is one of those days, um, actually the last couple of weeks. I had two breakdowns last week. I stripped out a spindle on my Toro Multiforce and my truck broke down. It was pretty stressful. I had to use my wife's vehicle to pull my equipment around. And so it wasn't a big deal. I didn't get that far behind, but we also had rain and then it's been hot, like 90s hot. And it just sucks. It's a grind. You get tired. I'm doing all the mowing. I'm doing all the trimming. I'm doing all the edging doing all the blowing and while I'm okay with that when it's really hot it's just tiring exhausting it's miserable and with the breakdowns and stuff like that it's just like a an extra pile of poo on top of it so guys sometimes being solo rocks like in the heat of the summer when lawns are starting to dry out I can take a couple days off. The family and I can go camping for an extended weekend. It is awesome. But in the peak growing season, when it gets hot like it is right now, and there's rain, and then you have breakdowns, being solo sucks. And it really gets you thinking about whether you want employees or not, because it's that thing of, you gotta try to find that balance. And that's why guys I don't take on a ton of customers it's awesome to be solo but it's a lot of work and it's hard it's a grind and so there's both there's good things and bad things to both things to both being having employees and being solo but guys I'm telling you what when it when you're in the heat of the summer July and August I can take off a whole week of work and not miss a beat because all my lawns are burned out so I'm free to take that vacation there's different stressors with being solo it's a lot of just physical manual labor stress and you have the business side as well which you have to take care of but if you automate things well enough that side isn't too bad I spend maybe maybe 10 hours a month on the business side of my business, maybe. There's pros and cons to both, guys, but I love my free time, I love my family time, you know, I love fun, I love being able to go on vacation with my family and just chill out for a week, extended weekends, you know, things like that where we go camping. We go camping a lot in the summer if we can. I need those times to just refresh and chill out and you need them as, as a solo guy. Trust me, you need that time. So if you're not taking those break times where you get an extended weekend or you don't have room in your schedule for family, free time, and fun, that is something that is a big deal. You will find that if you are overbooked and you're never taking time off, you will find that you will become burned out and you will hate lawn care you will hate it now if I, I get it if you're a single guy and you don't have any any other commitments other than your business you know you're you don't have a family that's counting on you or whatever then I get it you can work it I mean work it to the bone make that cash but when you have a family you have kids this is the time when you should be yes you got to work 
but you also got to focus on your family they should always come first and so I would really encourage you if you're a married guy and you're running a solo business lawn care business I would really encourage you to look at your schedule uh, because if you don't have any wiggle room in your schedule and you're working from 7 a.m. till 8, 9 o'clock at night every day uh, and you're not taking weekends off, that's a problem. And you're going to have big problems coming up on you. And uh, something's going to have to give and it's probably not going to be your business. It's probably going to be your family. Just saying, it's not, you know, it doesn't happen to everyone, but a lot of guys that I've talked to, when they are just going after it and they are working hard and grinding from seven to nine at night, something's suffering and it's not the business. For my business, I only work a half a day on Friday. Now, in the springtime and in the fall, that kind of changes because get rain you get in the fall you get leaves and that stuff just takes longer so my family gets it they understand in the spring in the spring rush I've got to work longer I'm not taking on more work things just take longer and so they're understanding they get it but in the summertime I'm not piling on the jobs just to pile on the jobs I am strategic about the work that I bring on and I make sure that it fits into my schedule so that I'm only working 8 to 6 or 8 to 5 every day and sometimes maybe that bleeds into Saturday or Saturday Sunday if we get a lot of rain or whatever this is huge if you're solo it's huge if you've got employees okay your employees don't want to work and grind away their lives all weekend long. They want a weekend off too. You know, they want paid vacation too. And so, you know, there's that side of the coin as well. And guys, I really, really want to encourage you. If you're not doing it yet, take a week off in the middle of the season. The hottest part of the season when lawns are slowing down, they're burning out take a vacation you can do it just like it's just like when I hear guys tell me when I ask them about GIE you going to GIE this year and they're like man I don't I don't think I can you know I don't think I can make the time yes you can you're the business owner you can make the time you just have to do it you have to do it rearrange your schedule so that you can still get all the work in and go to the GIE you know I know a lot of guys that take off the entire week for GIE that's awesome I don't have that luxury because I'm solo I don't have employees that can do my work for me so I have to be strategic in how I do things and that is how I do it I communicate all of this to my clients up front at the beginning of the year so that they know what I'm what times I'm taking off now I also intersperse like if if we've got a, a week like July 4th is coming up it falls on a Sunday this year and if if I want to I'm gonna take Monday off now I'm gonna communicate that to my clients and I'm gonna say hey I'm gonna take Monday after July 4th off I'm gonna push everybody back a day and I've done this before and to tell you the truth honest truth I have not had any pushback from any clients about pushing their lawns back a day they get it it's just grass okay it's just grass it's the hot part of the year it's just grass they understand that you work hard they want to see you take care of your family too when you have clients and not just customers they like to be involved in your life and I'm not saying come to family outings and stuff like that I'm talking they like to know about your family they want to know about your kids they want to they want to be a part of your business and 
as a solo guy, you can make that happen for them. And so I send out Christmas cards, things like that. I've sent out letters to clients explaining, you know, why I'm taking certain times off. Um, my clients know that I'm in the Echo UAG program and every single one of them think that that's awesome. They think it's so cool that their lawn guy is working with one of the largest handheld equipment manufacturers in the world. They think that's awesome and I think that's awesome. So guys, you just have to communicate and make the time. You have to make the time to do it. I hope you enjoy these videos. Please smash that like button. That helps these videos go farther. If you're still watching by now, you know, most people aren't, but if you are, thank you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.